Welcome back to the Lucid Air Learning Series. In this video, we're going to show you how to hit the road and cover the basics of operating your vehicle. If you've owned an electric vehicle before, some of this will be a review. If your Lucid Air is your first EV, you're about to learn some of the important differences that set it apart from traditional vehicles with internal combustion engines. First things first, turning your Lucid Air on. You won't find an ignition or a start button in your Lucid Air. That's because you don't need to turn a key or press a button to turn it on. When your vehicle detects a recognized key fob or mobile key, it starts to wake up and unlocks the doors. When you open the driver's side door, your display is power on automatically, letting you know your vehicle is ready to drive. Once you're buckled in and ready to go, it's time to put your vehicle in gear. Whenever your vehicle unlocks, the default gear is park. To change gears, press the brake pedal and move the gear selector up to reverse or down to drive. Your current gear will be displayed on the bottom of the center cockpit panel. Press the accelerator and the vehicle will move forward or backward depending on the gear. If you have creep enabled, you can release the brake and tap the accelerator once for your vehicle to move slowly or creep, either forward or backward, depending on the gear. You can enable creep in your drive settings on the pilot panel. Once you've reached your destination and come to a stop, press the end of the gear selector to put the vehicle in park. If you open the driver's side door, or if a charging cable connects to the vehicle, it will shift to park automatically. Your Lucid Air also turns off automatically. As you walk away from your vehicle, when it no longer detects your key, it will power down and the doors will lock. If your vehicle still detects your key, it will power down after 15 minutes of inactivity to conserve battery, unless you tell it you're still there. In addition to displaying which gear you've selected, the center cockpit panel provides important information about your vehicle. This includes trip information, system messages, and important warnings on the left, a charge and power meter in the center with a speedometer, a battery level indicator, and an odometer, and on the right, a navigation widget and important warning indicators. Unlike traditional gas-powered vehicles, your Lucid Air can also generate power in addition to using it. When the vehicle is using power, the meter on the center cockpit panel fills to the right. If the vehicle is generating power through regenerative braking, the meter fills to the left. Regenerative braking is a way to capture your vehicle's kinetic energy whenever you take your foot off the accelerator. Regenerative braking slows the vehicle down and feeds the captured energy back into the battery, reducing the coasting feeling you might be used to in a traditional vehicle. While you should always use the brake whenever you need to stop safely, many drivers find they can drive with just one pedal when using regenerative braking. They anticipate when they'll need to stop and let regenerative braking slow the vehicle. You can choose between two regenerative braking levels in your drive settings. In our next Lucid Air Learning Series video, we'll cover your vehicle's drive modes and settings.